This video is part of the Talkback 101 series and it's lesson three, Talkback's Angle Gestures. Hi everyone, it's Carrie from Live Accessible. So in previous videos, I have gone over some basic Talkback navigation and gestures, some back and forth gestures, and today we're going to go over another type of gesture which Google refers to as angle gestures. If you're new to Talkback, definitely check out my other videos which I will link in the description and in the YouTube card above. On our website which is liveaccessible.com, I also have a lot of tutorials for voiceover and Talkback, so definitely check that out. It's just liveaccessible.com and I have videos from Sam from The Blind Life and Derek from Life After Sight Loss and more. But if you're new to the channel, welcome! We do a lot of different videos like technology, tips and encouragement for people who are blind, visually impaired, and their sighted supporters, so consider subscribing and hitting the bell for more videos like these. So before I get started, I want to make sure that you guys know how to use these gestures. They do have a bit of a learning curve and so it needs some practice and just some experience with it. They are two-part gestures and you guys really need to start as soon as you touch that screen and make it smooth and make it quick and make sure to make the whole gesture and not just a little part of it. So the first one is the home gesture and you do this by swiping up and then left. Home screen one of three. So you have to make straight lines and a sharp corner um, when you draw it. So it's like an upside down kind of L. So if you swipe up then left, this will be the same thing as if you press that home button. The back gesture is one of my favorites and it is swiping down and then left. Facebook, live Newsfeed tab one of six. And that will be the same as pressing the back button so it can take you back one screen or sometimes it can take you out of the app. It just kind of depends on the part of the app that you're in. The next gesture is swiping left then up and this is the same thing as pressing the recent apps or overview button. And so this will bring you to a list of all the apps that you have open. Recent apps, YT's phone, YT Studio, Facebook. So these three gestures are how TalkBack users can use the navigation buttons that are on the bottom of the screen and you know sometimes it's difficult to find them or they're not there or you have to actually move your finger. So it's a lot easier to just do these gestures and get comfortable with them. The more that you do them, the less you'll have to think about which way am I supposed to swipe again. So you know, it's just all about muscle memory and just memorization and just practice. The next gesture is to get to your notification panel and that is swiping to the right and then down. You can also swipe down from the top of the screen with two fingers. Notification shade, 3.36 p.m. Pixel launcher. Notification shade, 3.36 p.m. So you kind of have two different gestures that you guys can use and just depending on what your preference is, you can use that one. By the way, I have a list of all of these gestures that is on our website, which I will link down in the description. If this video is going too fast or you want to go back over it and practice, you can definitely take a look at that link. The next two gestures are how to get to certain talkback menu. The first one is to get to the local context menu and that is swiping up then right. Alert local context menu, default characters, words, lines, paragraphs, headings. So here you can find different things like changing the navigation mode or a list of links. And you know, you can also swipe up and down and this will change your navigation mode. So like from um, headings to links to words to characters and sentences and paragraphs. Controls, links, headings, links, controls. One useful thing about using the context menu is for links, especially on YouTube, which is not the most accessible 
when it comes to links for Android and iOS devices, you can use this method by swiping up and then right and going to links and getting a list of all the links in the description. And you might not get um, a description of what that link is, but you know, if it says http colon facebook.com slash something, you know that it's Facebook. You can kind of just do a little bit of guessing. Local context with links. Alert links. HTTP, HTTP colon slash slash Instagram.com slash live accessible. YouTube definitely needs to work on their accessibility, but yeah. Another thing with the local context menu is that it can be different depending on where you are or what app you're using. That's different from the global context menu, which is swiping down and then right. And this takes you to different settings that you have access to all the time, like dimming the screen, going to the talkback settings or the text to speech settings or reading from the top or um, things like that. And so this will not change. Alert global, read from next, repeat last dot, spell last dot, copy last dot, or talk back settings, text to speech settings. The last gesture is the action menu. And so if you swipe to the right and up on certain items, it can give you a list of things that you can do. Alert actions, shortcut, remove, move item. This is the most useful when you're on the home screen and you're dealing with icons and you want to remove them or you want to move them. So this is how you can move or delete them more easily and a lot of different apps don't really support the action menu which I wish that they did because it would be a lot more accessible in some cases. But unfortunately, that is up to the app developers and we don't have a lot of power to do anything about that. But sometimes it can come in useful. One gesture is to swipe left then down, and this is actually unassigned by default. You can actually go into your talkback settings and change what this gesture does. So maybe if you want it to start continuous reading, you can set that gesture to do that, or you can just leave it unassigned. So those are all the angle gestures for talkback and you know, just take the time to learn them and practice them and the more that you use them, the more you'll become comfortable with them. I also wanted to take a second to do a shout out to Ashley who just started a podcast called Blind Techno Geek Who Explores Android and she is doing a really great job and she talks about talkback and android so if you guys are interested in those kinds of things definitely check out her podcast which i will link down in the description and if you guys like this video give it a thumbs up below and don't forget to hit subscribe and hit the bell for more videos on how you can live accessible thanks for watching everyone and i will see you guys in the next one